Will Chamberlain is without a doubt one of the greatest players that the NBA will ever see. He's a literal and figurative giant in the world of basketball and even though his stats are legendary, there are definitely some things you still didn't know about Will Chamberlain. More so than most celebrities, he seems to have a multifaceted personality and a collection of interests that seem at odds with one another. For example, after he retired from basketball in 1974, Wilt became a board member of the International Volleyball Association, a pro co-ed volleyball league that never really got off the ground. And he wasn't just on the board. Wilt joined the Seattle Smashers front line and played well enough to be inducted into the Volleyball Hall of Fame. Still, probably the wildest story about Wilt is the claim that he slept with 20,000 women during his life. In the book Wilt, Larger Than Life, Rod Rodiewig, a contemporary of Wilt's, shared a story about how the legendary basketball player came up with that number. When Chamberlain revealed the number of women he had slept with, the public perception of the basketball great changed. People started calling him names, expressing pity for his lifestyle that turned him into a reference for sexual braggadocio. But according to Wilt, that wasn't his intent. I'm not boasting. I don't see all this lovemaking as any kind of conquest. The point of using the number of 20,000 was to show that sex was a great part of my life as basketball was a great part of my life. That's the reason I was single said Wilt in the book. A little over a month after Chamberlain's book A View From Above saw the light of day, Magic Johnson, another prominent black athlete, shocked the world after announcing he was HIV positive. The public lumped two superstars together, condemning them for their publicized promiscuity. However, Wilt's family and friends stayed on his side, saying the passage was a throwaway line that Wilt inserted to create publicity for the book. They also blamed the publisher for manipulating Wilt into including it. Whatever the case, the Big Dipper openly admitted that sex played an important role in his life. He loved being around women and was always a true gentleman, handing out compliments left and right. He would stop in the middle of a conversation if a pretty woman walked by. Wilt's friend Fluke Fluker said he would either look at her or make a comment to the people he was talking to. And it wasn't a gross or vulgar or disrespectful comment. Or he'd call the woman over and compliment her on her looks in a nice, respectful way. He'd say, I just want you to know that you're looking very beautiful today. And I wanted to make sure someone told you that. Rod Rodiewig, another contemporary of Wilt's, testified to his chivalry. He met the NBA superstar before moving to Hawaii in the mid-80s. He was also there when Wilt came up with his infamous 20,000 women story when the two spent time at Wilt's penthouse in Honolulu. We were there for 10 days. I wrote everything down in my daytimer, Rod Uick said. Every time he would go to bed with a different girl, I would put a check in my book. After 10 days, there were 23 checks. That's 2.3 girls per day. He took 2.3 and divided it in half to be conservative, then deducted 15 from his current age, multiplied that by 1.2 women per day, and that's how he came up with the 20,000. What most people characterized as a boasting attempt, Wilt himself described as a deeper insight into his life, one in which sex played a huge role. That's something the Hall of Famer never denied, regardless of the aftermath of his infamous 20,000 passage.